Hello, my name is Ilan Garibin and in this video I'm going to teach you how to fold this lovely box made out of a hexagon. For that, of course, we need a hexagon and I usually like to fold my hexagon from a rectangle. So, pick one and start with this fold line and continue with a cupboard fold from both sides. Open up and fold in half. Now we take this edge to this quiz line, make sure it's the fold line starts from this corner and this will make a 60 degrees angle here. Do the same on the other side, like this. And look, we have already more than half of the hexagon. We have one, two, and somewhere here and here are the third and fourth edges. Now to understand where exactly this edge finish, you take this edge and bring it here. And crease strongly. Now you can see that this is the point the lower edge should end. So you just turn it over and take the short the short edge, not the long edge, and bring it here. Twist strongly. Open up one and two. And we have brought this one to here, so now we have to do the same here. So we take this. Make sure this line is aligned here. And once again you can sharpen this, the crease, turn over and once again go to the shorter edge and fold it here. Open everything up and you have and you have a hexagon. All is left now is to cut all the extra paper and we have our hexagon ready. This model is based on an 8 grid, so division to 4 was done because of the prerequisites we have done. So I'm going to continue all around. I do it very quickly, but you, you should take your time. Know that all the creases are valid, that's all we need. And now I'm going to divide it to eight. So and I'm going to the far quarter sign and I will do it all over again. After three times, be aware not to be confused with the line that you are going to use here. It is always the quarter. Now we have an extra crease here, but we ignore it. One and two. And the last one. Make sure you have done all around because sometimes you forget or you miss the crease line then it will be difficult to have it afterward. Now I would like to emphasize, not here on the other side, the Star of David that it's in the center. This is the center and I'm starting from here. And we are going to have two extra creases on the mountain side. We are going to make valleys. We're going to have this and this one. All around. How am I going to do it? This is actually part of the median. So I'm taking this corner to the far corner. And I 
crease from here to here. Two triangles only. And once again on the other side. Open up, rotate, and next corner just the same. One and two. Rotate, corner to corner. And the third time is this is the last time because each time we are folding two crease lines. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six fold lines. To add this one, I'm taking this corner and dot to the center, but one triangle after that. So here it is. And where this crease line is ended, I start a new one to the left, and I'm crossing one, two, three triangles. And I'm going to rotate and do the same again and again all over the place. So, corner, not to the center, one above. From here, one to three triangles to the left, always to the left. Another one, this is the fifth, I think. Maybe the last one. We'll check it out. Yes, this is the last one. So now we are ready for the collapse of the box. Mountain side is the outer side. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to collapse it in a very simple way. We have a long crease line and a short crease line, which are not the grid. So I start with the first long crease line, you see, and then I have this short crease line waiting for me. So I will put it on top. So all those layers, one, two, three, four layers are going to be together. And this is actually the first point of the box. So now I have another long crease line and then a short crease line. Now I have one and two. Here is another crease line, a long one. So long crease line short crease line and I will repeat it all over again long short long short long short at the end it's it's quite difficult to have to make it because of the first step so I open it up just a bit and I continue long short and then I can Use the pieces I've done before, and voila, our box is ready. There are many ways to lock the top. I'm using the simplest one, which is take this extra flap and put it here into this pocket. So it's going one. Two, three, four, five, and the last one. You can use something long and sharp to make sure that all the pieces from the inside are as you like them, like for example this one. I'm just popping it up. And now I can finalize the box. It's so that is the box. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.